Hi, this is Trey Passer, and this is my Blu-ray movie update number four. Okay, today I went to Best Buy. I received a $50 American Express gift certificate for my job, for a job well done. <laughs> yeah, hurry. And um, so I had to pick up some Blu-rays to add to my collection. Now, the first movie up is The Incredible Hulk. This is the one starring Ed Norton, Liv Tyler, William Hurt, and Tim Roth. Okay, this movie, uh, this was the second attempt at the Hulk movie, the first being the Ang Lee one, and this being the second one. And this one actually picks up, I guess, with Bruce Banner on the run. Okay, I love this movie. The, the, the two, the, there was two particular sequences that I love. Actually, three, excuse me. The first sequence when he first changes into the Hulk, it's inside of a factory. I love the way that was shot. And the second, uh, scene was when he was at the university and you know, he had the this big hole he was set up basically by general ross okay and then he changed the hall and he had this big battle with the um with um the tim tim roth character and the the, the, this, the special effects in that scene were fantastic and of course the the end scene at the end where he fights uh, the abomination and the, the, the special effects in that are fantastic and my only regret to this is that um Ed Norton didn't work it out, you know, he had a disagreement with Marvel and he's not going to be in the new Avengers movie. I think he would have been a good, good addition to it and I'm kind of sad that he's not going to be in it, but, you know, live and learn. Okay. The next movie is Collateral. Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. This is a great, great movie. Excuse me, Jada Peek and Smith is in this also. Um, this is basically about a hitman who uh, comes to town and you know, to do a hit. Uh, and he uses a cabbie. This is his M.O. actually. And the, he comes to town to do a hit and uses a cabbie as a fall guy, plants all the evidence on him, and leaves town. In this movie, of course, things don't go quite according to plan. But Tom Cruise's performance in this movie is absolutely fantastic. He's basically just a, as cold blooded a son of a bitch as possible. And that's what probably makes this movie great. Okay? Tom Cruise, I think, gives one of his best performances in this movie. A must see. Next movie is called Domino. Okay, this is a story about um, the daughter of actor Lawrence Harvey, who was most famous for the Manchurian Candidate. This is supposed to be based on her life as a, uh, I guess you call it a bounty hunter. Okay, I think they say they, I think they exaggerated some parts of this movie, but this movie is very interesting to watch. It's full of action, Mickey Rourke's in this, and of course it stars. Um, of course, uh, excuse me, Kara Knightley, who's absolutely gorgeous in this, and she's fantastic in this. And it has a bunch of other cameos in it. Um, besides Mickey Rourke, uh, Delroy Leno is in it, uh, Mina Savari, Lucy Liu, uh, Christopher Walken. But this is a great movie, it has great action in it. And like I said, the story is, is I think I read somewhere that it probably, it's partially made up. But, and I think the real Domino Harvey actually died. Uh, I'm not sure about how she died, but. And this is, but this movie, you should get it, it's because it's good, it has good action, good shooting in this, and it's a very unusual story, but it's good. And it's a Tony Scott film, so what more do you need? The next movie is a classic, okay? Star Trek movie, I love Star Trek. And this is Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Now this is one where they go back into time to save the whales, <laughs> okay? Because they have to go, I think the reason is because uh, there's an uh, alien, something that needs a response from a whale. And there's no more whales. Whales have been hunted to extinction in the future, so they have to go back into the past to bring whales back into the future. Okay, and this is a, a great story. Uh, the interplay between Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner is just fantastic in this movie. Um, especially, particularly the scene on the bus is, will have you cracking up laughing. But I think this movie is after the, I guess the search for Spock, which is a serious movie. You know, this movie is, is light and fun, and it has all the classic elements of Star Trek in it. And I highly recommend this. Now, this last movie is a, one of my favorites, Hellboy, starring Ron Perlman, Sam Blair, Jeffrey Tambor. This is basically a story about a, a agent, secret agency, that fights threats, to, you know, weird threats to the government. And it's Hellboy, which is Ron Perlman right there. Okay, his character is was a result of a Nazi experiment. They tried to conjure up a demon. To help them defeat the allies during the war, but it got interrupted, and they actually took Hellboy and raised him, you know, 
on the side of good. So instead of being a demon fighting evil, fighting, fighting, fighting against, you know, fighting for evil, he's an agent fighting against evil. And the characters in this movie are great. <laughs> and the story is fantastic. And of course, Selma Blair is in this, which is, he is right there, who is one of my personal favorites. I have a, a little personal thing for Selma Blair. But this movie is great. This movie and the sequel to it, Hellboy 2, is great. And I wish they make a third one to it. And this is directed by Guillermo del Toro, which is an, who directed Blade, and a bunch of other movies too, which I can't remember at the time, but he's a good director. And he's also supposed to be producing uh, the new Incredible Hulk TV show that's supposed to be coming out. Anyway, that's my Blu-ray update for now. And this is Trey Pass saying, uh, just let me know what you think of these pickups, and have you seen any of them, what you think of them, and feel free to leave your comments below. And Trey Passer again saying, take care and be well.